We got uh, April 23rd. Uh, I'm going to be in Louisiana State Championships. Uh, heavy hitters coming in the tournament. We got Craig Toulier, Dan Mosier, uh, BJ Fakakis. And uh, we also got some major uh, super matches set. Yeah. ask you about, uh, we got Carl Stanley pulling uh, Corey West left hand. We all know uh, Carl Stanley comes from Florida. They all know him as Superman. Amazing puller, very, very strong, looking to really uh, prove himself right now with his left hand. And he's got a very big opponent, Corey, the gorilla West, weighing over 430 pounds, just looking strong as hell. Every day I'm getting all these uh, up updates of what he's benching this week. He's up to 600 pounds now. So what's your thoughts on that match? I think I love Carl Stanley. Good dude. Good arm wrestler. He's just he's been off more than he can chew with Corey. Uh, I believe that uh, the guys, you know, if he can stop him, he can beat him. I, I just, I'm not sure that's going to be the case, uh, especially left-handed. I personally think his left-handed, maybe his dominant arm yeah. uh, right handed is extremely good. Don't get me wrong. I pulled him and, and he's beaten up on me several times, but I, I would lock up with him again. I'm, I'm totally comfortable with pulling him. Um, he's definitely top five, but that being said, I think Carl uh, is, is out of his league here just by a, a small margin. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I I wish him the best, man. I, I hope it's a hell of a match. I just think Corey is, is left-handed dominant in that one. Now, with the other match we got in is uh, we got uh, Krasmir coming in from Bulgaria, and he's going to be pulling Doug Allen left-hand. What do you think about that one? Uh, you know, that's – I think, well – Doug has been very, very dominant left-handed in the past. Doug has also been out arm wrestling for a while, and he's just kind of creeped back in in the last year and a half. And CrossFit or not, that's um, that's a handful of a match, man. You know, I, I'm going to root for my USA guys. I, I don't really know the answer to that one. It's interesting because if Doug shows up like Doug has the potential to be good, it'd be a good match. But Doug's a hooker too, so I mean, it, I don't know. I, I, I wish I had the answer for you on that one, but I seen that the other day and I actually think that uh, Carl Stanley and, and Doug would be more of a match and then maybe shooting the cashmere over to Corey, but that's just me. You know, I, I think that would be a, a, a more realistic matchup. Do you have an experience pulling a cashmere? No, I have not. Okay. He is very, very solid puller. Um, I've seen him pull a ton, right? I'm not really uh, up to date on his left arm. Um, as I tore my left bicep, so I quit watching left-handed matches. I was just kind of one of those. Gotcha. I think you froze up on I me think... there, Don. Hold on one second. Yeah, you froze up on me. You still there, buddy? I am. I'm right here. Okay, yeah. yeah. We just had a glitch for, you know, like 10 seconds. You froze up on me. So, uh, Tell me where you asked me at. Uh, say that again. Tell me where you lost me at. I think we're good. Well, I'll clean it up after this. Um, so moving on from that match, okay. we, we have uh, another great uh, left-hand match. We got uh, Jonathan Breeder, and he's going to be pulling uh, Jordan Sill. Yeah, Breeder's a, Breeder's a horse. Again, man, you, <laughs> I don't know why you guys ain't just putting that into one big uh, big match. All that, that's, that's a talent-filled left-handed pool of studs i mean do a round robin fuck the single matches put them all in a hole and say hey, winner take all i think they'd all be interested in that that's me as a promoter i'm like that's that's a pool of sharks so again you know you could do it a bunch of different ways but breed is a monster seals a monster i mean you've got you've got a card on your hands man great job thank you brother thank you and now the, the one last match i want to bring up is uh the main event match and uh is the one I'm really, really excited about. This is uh, Corey West going against Krasmir, right hand, best of five. Going to be a good one. The uh, reason why I'm really interested on this is because uh, both of them, uh, you know, Krasmir two years ago went against Todd Zilla, and, uh, you know, he had a war, and uh, he lost to him. And we all know that uh, Corey just pulled uh, Todd Zilla 
within yep. the last six months at my event in uh, Texas. You know, it was a 3-2, pretty uh, crazy war there. So we're just trying to figure out uh, who's the guy. Who do you think is going to get the win that day? Uh, you got Kashmir that has got more heart than probably uh, anybody in Europe. He's kind of like the Michael Todd of Europe when it comes to arm wrestling. Uh, Corey is, uh, has got some lanes that are not going to slow. No one's going to slow him down in. Todd used his uh, ability to arm wrestle uh, against a greener version uh, and the opponent with Corey that day and beat him, got his bone a little higher in his wrist, set him up, drug the hook through the lane that worked. I don't think Cashmere is going to be able to do that with him. I think Corey's just going to be too much hold on to, in my opinion. Um, Corey's the future of this. He's, a young, he's young, man. He's like 30 years old, you know, and doing the things he's doing right now and to have his arm develop as far as it is in the next five years, everybody just might as well hang it up. He's kind of our version of what, uh, uh, whatever that big, over, yeah, Levin. So, yeah. Totally it's agree, fun. man. Corey is just an amazing pull. And what I love about Corey is he's down to pull anybody, anytime. You say you talk crap or anything, he tells you, his wife will say, hey, we're going to put out the lawn chairs right in front. Let's bring out the table and come on over. Yeah, he's 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 such an awesome human being. Um, you know, that that's one thing that, and he's got some fire to him, man, you know. Uh, you, you know, people calling him fat and this and that. Hey, we all a little bit, you know, out of shape at one point in time or another. But that dude's throwing two or three of you around. So you better watch what you say with that giant running in the room with you, you know. But just a just a stand up uh, class A 10 on my chart human being, man. And I, I hope he fucks them all up. So totally I'm a agree. Corey. Corey, I'm a big fan of him. Definitely a great guy, humble guy. Uh, Definitely the up and coming uh, star. Could definitely see him being in the top of the food chain in the next one.